morning, Pirates. I'm Whitney Hall, and today is Tuesday, December 4th. BHS will be hosting a college and career fair on December 12th from 5 to 7.30 p.m. Be sure to stop by the counseling office and see all the cool summer programs that are happening. The ASVAB test will be offered at BHS on the morning of January 17th and is available to all students in grades 10 through 12. The ASVAB test is a part of the ASVAB Career Exploration Program that helps students learn more about themselves and the world of work. To sign up for the ASVAB test, please stop by the counseling office no later than January 4th. This Friday, William Jewell College will be visiting Belton High School. All college visits will be held in the counseling conference room from 9.05 to 9.35. All seniors must get a red pass from Ms. White or Ms. Burton. Passes are available Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday for the college visits on Thursday or Friday. Passes will be collected at the end of the college visit. Please note that the red counseling pass is needed to be released from academic focus. Congratulations to Thomas Crosby for being selected to be a part of Missouri's All-State Band. He will be representing Belton as he plays with the band at the end of January. The Voice of the Pirates speech and debate team was in action this weekend, with top honors going to Lauren Potter for taking home first in student congress. Attention track and field students, conditioning continues through this week at the stadium. Workouts start at 325. Alright Pirates, it's time for a little friendly competition. You need to bring in new pairs of socks to your first hour teacher today through next Tuesday. Whichever class brings in the most socks will get a free breakfast party. Not only are you in a competition with your fellow Pirates, you're also in a competition with Fort Osage High School. So let's really sock it to them. Here's Dr. Scretta with another opportunity for some friendly competition. Alright, Felt High School, this is our house. We're here in what is currently called the lower gym. There's one up there, that way, and since it's up there, it's called the upper gym. Now here's the thing, see this guy right here? That's a pirate. We are the pirates. We are the pirates. So, I'm thinking we need something a little more piratical, maybe nautical in nature, to name this gym and that gym. It is up there, but something a little more exciting and catchy and fierce and proud than just lower gym and upper gym. Up, down, up high, down here, down low. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Next, this week in Academic Focus, by Friday, your academic focus class is going to come up with your class's single one proposed suggestion for both of the gyms. Something for this gym, something for that gym. So really two names total. Make sure that your academic focus teacher designates which name for the lower gym, which name for the upper. This is our competition gym, right? So whatever the bigger name, you know, cooler name, probably this one, okay? Then, next week during lunch, one of those days next week, we'll have an all student body vote and we will select a new name for these two gyms. Now, if you come over here, somewhere around right here is where we're planning to put the name of the, of the gym down here. I don't know that we'll do anything upstairs, but we will name this gym and this is probably where we're gonna put some kind of a design with the name of the gym. So like when people come in, they'll say, hey, we're at the whatever. Okay, then on December 21st, Friday, the day before we leave for the holiday break, we're gonna have a pep rally in this gym and we will announce the new name of the gym. So pirates, come up with some good names, school appropriate names. I know that pirates talk about booty sometimes, but probably not booty in the name of one of our gyms. Cool? Thank you, pirates. Oops. <laughs> I'm Whitney Hall. And remember, Pirates, keep it classy. Yeah, my heart is covered in gold. I'm a pirate.